Hi, everyone. Welcome to the fourth lesson of the Crow Panel ESP32 HMI series. In this lesson, I will teach you how to create a small drawing board using the Crow Panel ESP32 HMI board. Since the 2.4 inch, 2.8 inch, and 3.5 inch boards use the TFT FB library, while the 4.3 inch, 5 inch, and 7 inch boards utilize the Lovey and GFX library, this lesson will be divided into two parts. The first half will demonstrate how to create a small drawing board using a 5-inch board, and the second half will use a 2.4-inch board for the demonstration. You can choose which part to watch based on the board you are using. First, we'll demonstrate the use of the 5-inch board, and the same steps can be applied to the 4.3-inch and 7-inch boards to create the small drawing board. Open the course files and find the code used in this lesson. Select the code that is compatible with the 4.3-inch, 5-inch, and 7-inch boards. If you're not sure where to download the course files, please refer to the video description below, which contains the download link. You can also find the download link on the product's wiki page. The code for this lesson is very similar to that of the second lesson. In the second lesson, I demonstrated how to install and configure the display and touch driver code for the screen. Once you have correctly configured the drivers and pins, you can utilize the drawing and touch functions provided by the Lovian GFX library. In this lesson, we will be using the getTouch function, which is quite simple to use, just like the fill screen and fill circle functions we demonstrated earlier. First, there will be a Boolean value used to store the result returned by the getTouch function. The getTouch function is designed to detect whether a touch event has occurred. When a touch is detected, the X and Y coordinates of the touch are saved in the variables touch and touchy, respectively. At the same time, the function will return a true value. When the return value is true, the draw circle function below will be executed, drawing a white dot with a diameter of 5 at the coordinates where the touch occurred. Additionally, the coordinates of the touch will be printed in the serial port. Of course, you can replace the draw circle function with any other drawing function you prefer. To do this, click Sketch. Open the Library Manager, search for Lovey and GFX, and click More Info to navigate to the Lovey and GFX GitHub page. Here, you can find a wide range of drawing functions and swap out the draw circle function with any of them based on your personal taste. All right. After understanding the touch function, you'll realize how simple it is to create a small drawing board. All you need to do is draw a circle at the coordinates where the touch occurs. Now, let's upload the code to the board to see the effect. Click on Tools, select the corresponding chip and board. Oh, suddenly, I remembered that I haven't checked if the settings in the GFK comp file have been configured for a 5-inch board. Yes, indeed, I forgot to make the necessary modifications. Let's change it to the macro that corresponds to the 5-inch board. Now, let me recheck the compilation settings. The chip should be set to ESP32S3DEV module. Since I'm not utilizing LVGL, I'll just leave it at the default setting. Next, for PSRAM, it should be set to OPIPSRAM. Lastly, connect the board to the computer. Select the corresponding serial port and click Compile. The compilation process is rather slow. So I have accelerated the footage for this part. Once the compilation is complete, you will observe the screen undergoing a full screen color transition, ending in a black screen. At this point, you can begin drawing on the screen. All right, that's the end of the demonstration for creating a drawing board using 4.3 inch, 5 inch, or 7 inch boards. Next, we will proceed to demonstrate the process of creating a drawing board using 2.4 inch, 2.8 inch, or 3.5 inch boards. Open the course file and find the code for this lesson. Note that the code is universal for 2.4 inch, 2.8 inch and 3.5 inch displays. If you are not sure where to download the course file, you can find the download link in the introduction of this video or on the product's wiki page. After opening the code, you'll notice a prominent comment reminding you to configure the TFTSB library before using this code. However, since I've already demonstrated the steps for installing, configuring, and using this library in detail in the second lesson, this class will focus on how to use this library to create a drawing board. 
However, if you have already installed this library and are comfortable with its usage, you can simply use the pre-configured setup file I have provided. Locate the user setup. File for the corresponding screen size in the course files and copy it into the TFT SB library folder to complete the configuration. Then, back to the Arduino, IDEA in the second lesson, I have demonstrated the effect of drawing pictures with the TFT SBI library, but did not mention the touch-related functions. The drawing board in this lesson will use the touch function getTouch, because in the user setup file, the display and touch drivers and pins have already been set up, so there is no need for additional configuration when using this function. Next, let's take a look at how to use the getTouch function. When you call this function, it will detect whether a touch event has occurred. If a touch is detected, the function will save the coordinates of the touch point in the first and second parameters, which are the variables touch and touchy, respectively. Additionally, the function will return a true value. This return value can be used as a flag for touch events, allowing you to execute the appropriate code when a touch occurs. For example, you can fill a white circle at the touch coordinates and print the coordinates to the serial port. So, if I touch these specific points, it will fill a circle at each of those coordinates, and if the points I touch are connected, it will form a line, which is the effect of the drawing board I'm trying to create. Let me upload this code to the board and see how it works. Before uploading the code, it's important to review the compilation settings. Make sure that the chip is set to ESP32, WRO, MDA module. After that, connect the board to your computer and select the appropriate serial port. Once everything is set, click on Compile. Since the compilation process takes a while, I'll speed up this part of the video. Once the upload is complete, you'll see the screen first undergo a full screen color change, and then it will turn black. At this point, you can start drawing on the screen. Yes, this is exactly the drawing bore effect I wanted. However, I'm quite curious to see what the effect would be if we replace the fill circle function with drawing a triangle or a rectangle. Why don't you give it a try and let me know? All right, that's the end of this lesson. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.